as our journey is, as our journey to get ready to battle Leon in the gallery region continues, we are prepared for ourselves to take on the next gym in Moto Moto on Moto Life. Oh, what? Hang on, hang on. Let me go to map and see where I'm at. Oh, yeah, I'm at the uh, Moto Stoke City Stadium. Yep, I'm at the Moto Stoke State Stadium. Moto Stoke City Stadium. But anyway, we're back with more Let's Play Pokemon Sword. Because last time, we battled Nessa and earned ourselves the Water Badge. And now, we are all set to get ready to face off for our second gym battle. However, this gym... This gym battle specializes in fire types. So therefore, we're going to need the powers of ground and water and rock as, a, as an ultimate fire fighting squad. Because I know you're all thinking, and, uh, what fire types, it, what Pokemon do you have on your team? Right now, I got Kingler, and we even got Crocorock, Squirtle, Corphish, and Baldor. That's right. Because we're getting ready for our third gym mission. Because it's going to be a real challenge, to be honest. Because this is going to be one hot battle. So yeah, we gotta be on the lookout. It's, it's gonna get bar. I don't want to get barbecued. Oh man, it's gonna be a real hot, scorching battle that I must face, big time. The gym mission for this, the gym mission for the fire gym is this: catch the Pokemon to earn more points, the most points. Earn five points to clear a, the gym mission. In case you're wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in tall grass. Two points for catching the Pokemon. You won't, but you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in battle. Think about your opponents might do, and try to best the action to rack up the points. Hmm. Well. Mission start. Well, all right. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got uh, okay, we got a Sizzlepede, a fire type. So, and my partner is helping me out. I send out Crocrock, and she sends out a Salandit, a poison and fire type. Since my Crocrock is part ground and dark. And since we all know Sizzlepede is weakened with ground types. Oh. Oh, dang. Ow! Oh, I did not realize that was going to happen. I did not realize it. So, how do you scary face? Are you kidding me? Have you. Ah, oh, dang. I guess Clock Rock would use an extreme training, to be honest. Well, let's hope that our old friend Kingler can handle the situation. Let's see what she can do. Ah, oh, with one heck of a bubble beam, we'll have no problem. <coughs> oh! Damn! Sand attack on me. Really? Well, if that's how it's going to be, Missy. Eat war, then. Okay. Oh! Oh, snap. Well, looks like I got my chance to catch. So we'll have to use a... We'll have to use, ah, the repeat ball. We've got plenty of those, anyway. Gotcha! Well, it looks like we'll be able to keep the Pokemon that we'll catch. Which is not pretty bad, to be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, good, good. Let's see about Sizzlepeed. Okay, it's been added to our Pokedex, and it's known as the Radiator Pokemon. It stores flammable gas in its body and uses it to generate heat. The yellow sections on its belly get particularly hot. Wow. Sizzlepeed is, ext is extreme hot dog. It's a hot little insect. For a fire and bug type, yeah, to be honest. Oh, wow! Yes! Alright. Let's see for the next Pokemon. Yeah, I need to really, really heal. The, um, I gotta revive Crocorock. So really good thing I brought some revival herbs to handle the situation. Yeah, always be prepared for what. For depending on the items you use. So therefore, we're gonna do. Okay, we got Crocorock in. Oh, good! Looks like we're battling a Pokemon. Oh, oh it's a Vulpix! <sighs> yeah, to be honest, believe it or not. Okay, now he sends out Roly Coly, a rock, and fire type as well. So, therefore, we're going to be use. We'll have to use Dig. So, I'll use Dig, which will allow Crocorock to bury himself underground. It's like. Oh! Oh, you. Sorry, Vulpix, but you missed. Oh, and you... Uh, tur turns out that Steam Engine do does increase the attack... Increase the power on Rolly Coley. Which gives Rolly Coley the ultimate chance to win. And for me to finish the, the battle. Oh, and we got him. Thank you. Well... And we got one point that's three. Alright, so here comes the next one. Oh, Litwick, a ghost and fire type. This is what I like about that. Okay, now she's got a sizzle pee too. Because you all know it's a bug and fire type. Fortunately, apparently the problem is we got a bit of a problem. Dig is a brown type, which apparently has no effect on ghost types, so we'll have to use Crunch. Oh! <laughs> huh. I didn't suspect that we use Crunch on Litwick. But oh well. Hmm. Huh. Now let's see if we can try to win. Okay, we'll do it again. Another sizzle pee. Okay, since we all know it's a bug type. Alright, so we're going to try this again. And we'll go digging underground. Take down the sizzle pee. Really a good strike. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Using fake out. Oh! Oh! Snap! I did not realize that was going to happen. How it uses bug bite. Fortunately, we're going to take it down. But do not worry, the gym battle's next. Because we're going to have to battle hard. Remember, folks, we got to be careful not to get barbecued. Oh, yeah! Hmm. Hmm. Seriously. Oh! Oh, snap. I did not like it. Well, we're almost... However, we're almost up to... Hmm. However, this is not going to be one easy match. we got to win. If I want to earn five points with my team. Yeah. So I'll have to use Waterfall. But seriously, Slayer, why did you use Sand Attack on me when you're supposed to use it on your opponent? Oh, great. It's using Coil. Yeah, Coil is a very powerful move. It raises its, your opponent's end defense attack. And also its accuracy. But we're going to finish... Oh, dude! Why? Why the hell would you miss? Come on, bro! Give me a break! And it's using bite all on Solanda. Ooh! Well, I'm, well, I'm taking you out, Sizzle Pete. Sorry! It looks like it's all over. I earned five points. But the gym mission will be next. But not right now. 
However, the adventure will our gym mission will continue on. But now since we hit one, oh, it looks like Squirrel's going to learn a yeah, shell smash. Yeah, so we'll keep our pulse and rapid spin and rain dance. But let's see. Hmm. Oh, maybe we shouldn't use shell, shell smash. Because we want to use that withdrawal. That's true. We'll, use, we'll keep withdrawal. So therefore, oh, it looks like we cleared another mission. Congratulations on an, on mission clear. On another mission cleared. It looks like we're all set for our first gym battle. Co clearing gym, clearing Lear Kabu's gym mission like the like that. You're positively on fire. <laughs> Yeah, he means metaphorically. Next, you'll face Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. Go on. And on. You, on you go, challenger. Thanks. Well, looks like our gym challenge will have to be ready for tomorrow. But make sure you check out more of the action in Pokemon Sword. A lot more gameplays of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge, New Super Mario Bros. U, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Mario 3D World, and Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Smash Bros. and Giant Pokemon Reactions will be coming your way as well. And coming soon, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. So make sure you leave a like and a comment, and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out more of the action. Till then, Mike F is out of here. See ya!